We've covered where name information is stored and how this area looks. The next logical question is how do we create a new name entry? So I have a new client or contact that I wish to enter into our system. How would I do this? All new name entries are created via a name creation wizard. This means that you will be guided through several windows and prompted at various stages to enter the necessary information. Once all the steps have been completed, your name entry will be created. You can access the name wizard by clicking on the new name information speed button. The create name record window will appear. This window will guide you through all the steps required to successfully create your name. We are now on the first screen and here we need to make a choice on whether this is a legal entity, in other words an organization or company, or is this a natural person, meaning an individual. What you choose here will affect the fields that you need to fill in in each of the screens. Let's choose legal entity. We've chosen our name entry type so I will click next to continue. The next screen requires that we fill in all the name and address information. Note that if a value is marked as red, it is mandatory to fill in. Let's add in a name, a country and an address. Once done, click next. Now we need to fill in the contact information. So let's do so. Take note that we have access to a back button. This is useful if you wish to move back to a previous screen to perhaps amend entered values. Let's say you made a mistake and you want to fix up a value, so just click the back button. Once done, click next again to move forward in the screens. The last screen deals with the recommended or mandatory fields specifically set by your super user. Sometimes there is information that your organization requires whenever a new name entry is created. The super user can enforce this by setting a field to be either recommended or mandatory. In my example I have set two additional fields to be entered whenever a new name is created. These are payment terms and VAT number. As mentioned, these additional fields fall into one of two categories. They can be recommended or mandatory. Mandatory fields are fields that need to be filled in before you will be able to continue. These are displayed in bright red and is shown in my example as the payment terms field. I cannot complete the name record if I do not fill this in. Let me add a value here then. Recommended fields are shown in dark red and in my example this is the value VAT number. This means that the field is not mandatory, i.e. will not prevent the creation of the record. It is recommended however and if you have this information fill it in. If you do not fill in this value then you will receive a prompt stating that fields marked as recommended have not been filled in. It could also be that you do not see these fields at all when you create your record. This means that your super user has not implemented setup like this. Now click save to finalize the process and create your new name entry. The name information window will open showing your newly created name entry and its unique number.